Hey, welcome back to our channel Total Technology. This is tutorial three, and today's topic will be how to use Fast API dynamic routing, or how to use Fast API, uh, how to use dynamic routing in Fast API. Okay, so dynamic routing means in the URL we are going to uh, give any random or any dynamic things, and based on the, our uh, URL, we'll be going to uh, get the response. So let me explain this thing a bit uh, differently from our last tutorial so if you open here here actually our our url is kind of fixed if i open this uh, like main main link or the uh, root uh, url it will always going to give me this thing and if i going to open this url slash about it is going to give this thing here is nothing dynamic like suppose if i uh, give uh, about slash one it is going to give me something different if i put two it is going to different uh, that is not possible but in this tutorial we will be going to see how we can achieve that so let me open this thing and before i move ahead so guys i have some slides over here so again this is like same as our last tutorial so if someone is interested to learn more about fast api from the documentation point of view or theoretical point of view can go ahead and uh, like uh, to this link and get the documentation uh, from here and this is kind of a brief description is a prerequisite so if someone is watching our uh, video this video for the first time or first time came to this uh, playlist and wanted to want to learn uh, fast api so for them actually this is going to be very important that you have to have python 3.6 or higher version you have to have a uh, fast api installed if you are not having this thing you can install using pip and you have to install ubicon ubicon is required to like build and port the application to some port and uh, for this thing actually i have a tutorial that is tutorial 2 this is tutorial 3 so guys if someone is watching this tutorial for the first time can go ahead from the playlist and search for tutorial 2 they are actually have explained completely uh, like in stepwise manner how to uh, like create and build and run one application definitely fast app application okay so let me just go ahead with this coding so first of all from fast api import fast api right now let me just give one name to our app so it will be fast api so i'm what what i'm creating here i'm creating an instance of fast api and i'm just giving a name of app okay and after that let me just give a this thing show and this is going to be a method a function and this is going to return one name and the name will be dynamic so let me just like name and this is going to be name right and i'll be going to call this with this parameter so this is going to be here and this thing will use that dynamic routing thing now so app.get and after that let's say it is going to be the slash then get name and this uh, like this okay so in in fast api whatever uh, variable or parameter you are uh, planning to use or you are you, you want to use in your uh, routing uh, or in your url that has to be uh, inside this curly braces for example here my name is uh, parameter so that is why i put this thing in curly braces this is always uh, like you have to remember always like if something is within this curly braces it means this is a dynamic parameter and you can parameterize or use this thing for any sort of logic or any any sort of calculation so what is going to happen here suppose i am going to open this url get name slash ronnie my name so it is going to return name ronnie like this json if i change this thing to something other name like uh, or uh, whatever like michael or anything that is going to change depending on that so let me just show you guys ubicon uv con main app then okay like this So application is starting in this link if you can see here so i have to open this link slash get name so let me open this thing so definitely i have no route defined for this thing i will get an error so it should be get name and now let's put my name so let me put my name ronnie so see i get name ronnie so let me change this thing to something else let's say messy see i get name is equals to name is messy 
so let me just change it to something else let's say ronaldo so i got ronaldo so this is super cool super easy so if you can see here by using five lines of code i can easily explain and i can create a route and that is also going to return some json so the this part is that whatever you are going to pass here that will be uh, like uh, going to come as a response body from your return statement right so that is the thing you have to remember always this thing and whenever you are planning to use some sort of parameter you have to put it uh, inside this curly braces so that it will be uh, like kind of uh, uh, like this is a notation actually those are actually working in flux for them also it is going to be same and this is a good practice as well so this is more or less similar to the flask but in flux you have to write two or three lines of extra code so that is the thing right so that's it guys uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series and uh, actually you are getting whatever you guys are requested so i'm creating the tutorial based on your based on you guys request actually because i'm getting so many requests every day so uh, i actually uh, like kind of creating this uh, tutorial by breaking down all the use cases in a single or small pieces of tutorial and try to put this thing in more more meaningful manner so that it is easier to understand for all of you those are actually not familiar with python just learn started learning python or maybe for someone who is already expert in python okay but again if you guys are having having any concern or feedback if you guys uh, more use cases more content or want me to uh, like uh, tackle the tutorial in a different way could can put their comment or feedback as well okay because ultimately i'm creating this content all, for all of you guys if you guys are not getting benefited then there is no point right so that's it guys and uh, last but not least try to do some sort of practice because if you are not doing practice definitely you guys will uh, forget the coding and other syntax after some time because the more you uh, do practice the more you will uh, like get the confidence and the more confidence will uh, give you the additional encouragement or motivation to do something else because my videos are going to give you the intuition towards first api but actual uh, like things has to be done by you probably you can create some enterprise application or whatever that has to be done by you because in this tutorial i'll be going to teach you what is fast api and how it works and the different aspects of fast api but actual some enterprise ready or enterprise level application has to be created by you because ultimately your your job is to do some uh, like work for maybe your freelance project for your client or for your for your company so that is why practice is important so enough of talking guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day